Last week I made a zero crossing triac switch and I used this optocoupler here and it has a zero crossing built into it and it's a, it's a, it's a, a triac driver so it'll actually drive the triac for you and this this actual circuit is in the data sheet when you look this uh, this optocoupler up. Now I wanted to put it in the form factor of a uh, octal base relay because I was going to replace an octal base relay uh, in a solar panel system that I was doing. So, I used a, uh, this uh, track that I used is good for 40 amps, and I was only going to use it, run about uh, 6 amps through it, and I had somewhat of a heat sink on here. There's a metal bracket that the, uh, the, the coil was hooked to, and uh, so I, I just assumed that, uh, you know, it would be okay. Uh, thanks to a commenter, though, I did actually did a load test on it before I tried it, and it, it just got way too hot. I ran it at uh, 7.6 amps for about an hour, and it rose up to uh, about 50 degrees centigrade over ambient temperature. Now I had the um, in the plastic case. It didn't melt the case, but just just way too hot. And now I could take this apart and put uh, you know a better heat sink on there. When I ran it without the case, it was better, but uh, it's still still too way hot, way too hot. So. Instead of being lazy and just guessing at it, I thought I'd uh, figure out what the, the actual wattage was, you know, the, the power dissipation. So in order to do that, we just take the, uh, the power dissipation is equal to V0. Now V0 is your triac knee voltage. And you times that by the average current. And then you add the uh, RS, which is your triac slope resistant, times the uh, RMS current squared. Now this V0 and and VS there, uh, it's in a data sheet, so you can look this up. This VS is equal to 1.063 volts, and the RS is 0 0.0074 ohms, okay? And they, they figure that out for you. Now, to get your uh, average uh, current, we take uh, 2 times the square root of 2 times your, your RMS value, divided by pi. Now, that's how... That's how you would do that, but if we don't want to do all that, we can just multiply it by 0.9. So normally we just use 0.9, but that's how they, they derive that. So if you do this, it comes up, the uh, the uh, average current comes up to 6.87, and I was uh, my RMS value was uh, 7.63. So now I put these, plugged everything in here for my... Uh, to find my wattage and it came out to uh, 7.37 uh, watts okay so this thing's dissipating uh, almost eight eight watts okay now in the uh, spec sheet here or in the data sheet under power here if you're looking at uh, your 7.6 volts is around here somewhere it's kind of hard to see but uh, you know it's it's in there it's in the seven seven watt range there you know now, I did it uh, just empirically. I just took a voltmeter and I, when it was at uh, 7.6 uh, amps, and I, I tested my voltage across there, and it had a, a 1.2 volt drop. You know, times your 7.63. That's it's about nine watts. Now there's some other stuff going on in here, so, uh, you know, nine. So I'm I'm losing about eight watts here now. What I decided was that, uh, you know, this is on a solar panel system, a small one. I don't want to, uh, you know, 8 watts at uh, 120 uh, volts is only going to be, this is on the 120 volt side, is only going to be about, uh, you know, point, uh, some, uh, 75 uh, milliamps, you know. But uh, on the um, 12 volt side, on the battery side, it's going to be about 750. And then, you know, with the inverter loss and everything, it could be up to an amp. So I'd be drawing an amp out of the system just to uh, just to heat this uh, this thing up here. So I didn't want to do that. So I decided to uh, abandon the idea of the zero crossing and just go with a, um, a latching relay. So I'm going to latch the relay in. I won't be wasting any power at all and then uh, unlatch it when I want to turn it off. And as far as the zero crossing, I'm just going to put a snubber uh, circuit on the outside of that and it should it should work fine so anyway uh, 
this is that's how you figure your your wattage for that and uh you know next time i won't be so lazy so uh, thank you